Welcome to the channel Professor Davinci. Today's topic is partiality, preference and prejudice. Partiality refers to a bias inclination towards one side or viewpoint over another, often influencing uh, judgment or uh, behavior unfairly. Preference is a subjective link, liking or uh, favoring of uh, one option or entity over biased or on personal taste or a criteria. Prejudice involves uh, preconceived um, opinions or attitudes, typically negative towards individual or a group without adequate justification, often leads to a discrimination or unfair treatment. It's very simple. See here. We often come across a situation where uh, if we have a uh, special fondness or special likeliness towards a particular thing, we tend to be slightly uh, partial towards it. And this is in major cases many may, may affect the outcome or you can say it can uh, deviate the outcome in favor of certain things. Obviously, of course, we are influenced by the favor, right? So this is the this is this uh, kind of uh, favoring towards the output or favoring towards the um, uh, something is called the partiality preference and the prejudice. Naturally, it is uh, not the right way of uh, dealing with the data on a large scale. So here, while you analyze the data, we should not deviate or we should not fall to the one category based on our personal interest. So this will uh, discriminate the output, right? So this partiality, preference and the prejudice towards a set of data is called a bias. It's called a bias. So as a result of uh, this uh, partiality, preference and prejudice, there will be a bias result will be there. So this the act of having all these three things is called bias. Okay. So uh, in data science, bias is a deviation from the expected outcome in the data. Suppose I expect the outcome as this is. So this is the outcome. Okay. So based on a personal preferences, my outcome is not like this, but I favor the output. In fact, I mean a discriminate. So in this case, this is the actual I, I need to get, but I get this output because of my personal preferences. So this kind of error is called a bias to your output or bias error. So in data science, uh, bias is a deviation from the expected outcome in the data. Fundamentally, we know, I mean, uh, we can also call bias as an error in a data. So fundamentally, we can also say bias is the error in the data okay however it is observed that uh, this error is uh, indistinct and uh, goes unnoticed so this kind of personal preferred uh, data is very hard to notice and it may go until the evaluation or analysis so the question to be asked here why does bias occur in the first place so bias is a very critical case okay it will uh, deviate the output so why why bias comes in the first place so bias basically occurs because of sampling and estimation so i erase this one sorry i erase this one so why the bias bias basically occurs basically occurs in a sampling occurs in sampling and the estimation if you i mean if we would know everything about all the entities our data and would store information on all probable entities our data would never have any bias however data science is often not conducted carefully on a controlled condition so for example bias occurs very fundamentally from the data collection so from where we get sampling from the data collection data collection suppose for example i have a questionnaire some in a feedback form in this feedback form many 
may give the random uh, feedback because of time, because of laziness, because of uh, favoring that uh, that uh, the person who is getting the feedback, we favor them. So in this case, what we do usually, we will favor the output instead of uh, giving their correctly, say strongly agree or uh, strongly disagree, we may bias the input. So, so bias occurs fundamentally from the sampling data collection, okay? So, <clears throat> it is mostly done, I mean, uh, however, in data science, often not, so here, here data collection was not often uh, resembles the real things, okay? So, it is mostly done, the, uh, done of the found data, that is, data that is collected for a purpose other than modeling, okay? So, this is the reason why this uh, data is very likely to have bias. So all the data what we have collecting, all, all the data what we have for the database, sorry, data science, will have some bias because of this sampling and the, because of the sampling and so from the sampling and estimation, because the people will not give the real feedback or real, uh, real, real data. So this kind of uh, data, is called uh, errors okay we, uh, you can say noise in the data now the next question uh, next question that may arise in your mind is why does bias really matters what is the what is the purpose of uh, speaking about the bias in this well <clears throat> the answer is that predictive model often consider only the data that is used for training Okay, so whatever the data we collect from the questionnaires, of course, it has some error, it has some uh, favors. So the modeling, the model, the machine learning model or data science, what are the model we are going to use to analyze this data. So model often considers only the data that is used for training. In fact, they know no other than reality. So that means the model knows only the data. The model does not know about what is the reality. Okay other than the data, okay, that is fed in the system. So, naturally, if the data that is fed into the system is biased, model accuracy and fidelity are compromised. So, here I can say, if so data analysis model know only the data, only the and data, and it does not know the real situation, real it does not know the real situation okay so <clears throat> uh, in this case whatever whatever the data we fit to the system the model will predict or it analyzes and it produces some sort of output this sort of output mainly depends on the data what we fit to the system if this data have say bias obviously the output also have bias output so that's why always we used to say in machine learning or in a prediction or in a prediction we will not get a hundred percent accuracy because the hundred percent we will not get because of these errors so the model accuracy lies between 90 to 98 in most cases most cases, the rare cases, the model will achieve 98 percentage, but in um, many cases, it is less than 90 percentage only. Okay, so because if we give the wrong input, obviously it produces the wrong output. So this, this is the one we have to very much concern about the bias. Now, here we have four types of bias. We have first one is selection bias, second one is linear bias, third one is confirmation bias. Fourth one is a um, recall bias, and the fifth one is a survivor bias. What is selection bias? Selection bias is when the chosen sample for a study is not a rep representative of the border population. That means it skews the data. What is the meaning of a skewing? Falling towards one side. For this is the suppose, suppose this is the no, I mean uh, perfect. Skew means falling towards one side, either by right skewing or left skewing. This is neutral. 
this is a bias bias towards one class or bias towards and this is a suburb for example this is a positive class this is a negative class if the uh, sampling is not uh, perfect if it is uh, skewed towards the positive class then the result will favor in 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 terms of uh, favor towards the positive class that is called the skewing falling towards or leaning towards the another side result due to certain group of being overpresented or underrepresented it undermines the validity of finding by inaccuracy reflecting the characteristics of the behavior of the population so that means if we give the skewed data uh, i mean if you give the biased data and um, obviously the the output also will be biased the output also will be biased this is a selection bias then linear bias linear bias occurs when there is a systematic error in a measurement or the estimation leading to a consistent deviation from the true value often resulting in linear relationship between the observed and the true value it can uh, distort analysis and their conclusions uh, particularly in regression model the next one is confirmation bias confirmation bias is the tendency to favor input i mean favor information that confirms a pre existing belief or the hypothesis so that means what so if confirmation bias means what they made it, I mean, they, 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 it favors the model favors to the pre justice i mean pre existing belief or hypothesis while ignoring or discounting the contradiction evidence leading to skewed perception again skewed means what leaning towards one side not in a neutral and the decision making it can uh, perpetuate misconception and hinder critical thinking perpetuate means what so initially it may be small further if you go to next 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 so it will perpetuate it is it the the, 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 the skewness will increase in the further stages then the recall bias Recall bias is a systematic error in research where a participant inaccurately uh, remember past evidence or experiences, leading to biased study result due to selective or distorted recollection. It can uh, undermine the reliability of. Uh, retrospective studies particular when relying on a self reported data so this is called recall bias and finally surveyor bias surveyor bias occurs when only unsuccessful or surviving subjects are included in analysis leading to skewed conclusion by neglecting those that failed or were were excluded it uh, distorts um, assessment assessments by overlooking important failure or challenges okay so these are the five types of bias we have so in data analysis or data science we have to reduce the bias as possible as we can okay the, if bias is ready if bias is less then the accuracy accuracy will be high so that means what bias is directly proportional to accuracy of the model okay understand see you guys have a great day